Uganda, we have registered a very deadly disease that has killed more than 2,287 people in the Democratic Republic of Congo in a period of just one and a half years. And the current situation is that the body is isolated in the mortuary, waiting to be buried by the medical team. Welcome to the latest stories making headlines in the country. My name is Melad Milo, aka Fuller. Don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, before I take you to that story, Sipapa's mother in law is currently being detained at Kabalagala Police Station on allegations of hiding some of the stolen exhibits at her home. The development has been confirmed to the media by Uganda police. It's reported that police officers found her at the shop where she works and took her to home to carry out investigations. Upon searching her home, police discovered that she was in possession of some of the stolen items that Sipapa and the wife Shamira were arrested for. The items are said to have been handed to her by Sipapa's wife, that is Shamira, before she was arrested. Well, relatedly, Sipapa and his wife Shamira appeared before Makindia Magistrate's court on charges of aggravated robbery and they were further remanded. They will return to court on the 10th of October next month. Well, in other news, Honorable Odonga Oto, a former ARU member of parliament who is now in Europe for further studies on a state scholarship has fired at the National Unity Platform Party, accusing them with facilitating and fueling hate speech on social media platforms. Now, in his own words, he said, the level of hate speech, hate post, and uh, hatred being exhibited by NUP on social media is too much. The hatred borders tribalism and even goes to speculating and celebrating death. Ugandans need to double think before entrusting such characters with state power. However, a big section of his followers have requested him to look into the circumstances that have driven the opposition youths into being toxic on social media. Many people suggested that government locked all avenues of dissenting opinions and therefore social media remains the only space people can express their feelings towards President Museveni's government. Well, in other news, NTV Uganda's Farida Nakazwe has cautioned people to stop asking others, especially women, when and why they haven't given birth. This is after she interviewed radio personality Shine Omuchiga. Now, in her own words, she said, Stop asking people why they haven't given birth. Many women are struggling with infertility and other complications. While appearing on Masuze Mutia program, Shaino Mchiga told her story, which left very many people shocked. She revealed that the miscarriages she had before giving birth were actually more than 19. Well, in other news, the Ministry of Health has announced the outbreak of Ebola virus disease in Mubende district. Permanent Secretary Dr. Dana Twine told journalists that a sample tested by the Uganda Virus Research Institute identified the case as a Sudan strain. This is the first time in more than a decade that Uganda is recording the Ebola Sudan strain. The press conference was held at the Ministry of Health headquarters right here in Kampala. This is to notify you about a confirmed Ebola outbreak in Movende district. On the 15th of September, 2022, one suspected case of viral hemorrhagic fever was identified and isolated in Mobende Regional Referral Hospital. The patient was a 24-year-old male who lived in Ngavano village of Madudu sub-county in Mobende district. Unfortunately, that morning of 19th, yesterday, the, the, the patient who had been confirmed with Ebola passed on and the current 
situation is that the body is isolated in the mortuary, waiting to be buried by the medical team. We also call upon, especially the, 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 the public places, to institute strict hand washing facilities. We all know that Ebola spreads through body fluid. So please avoid any of the above, but also avoid urine contact, sweat, blood, saliva, vomitus, and stool of anybody who present with fever or any other symptoms of Ebola. Well, there you go. That is Dr. Dana Twine, Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health. Well, it should be remembered that Ebola is a very deadly disease. Actually, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, 2,287 people have been confirmed dead as of June 2020. So you can see how dangerous it is right here. We just have to pray, you know, to the Almighty so that we can be safe from this problem. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I got for you right here on the Buzz UG. What you have to do, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.